the fish tank guy store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I just noticed my albino Senodonis catfish. I've had them for years now, about six years or so. He's starting to get some black in his tail on his back. And I kind of enjoyed him being completely white albino for so many years. Haven't seen him in a while. He's always hiding inside of here. He's out today. I just fed the tank. But he got a little bit of black on his top fin and on his tail. I don't like it. I liked it better when it was completely white, albino looking. It's such a rare fish to find, albino. Albino Senodonis catfish. This is my 120 gallon adopted fish tank. Most of the fish in here are adoptions. I got them from different people. I show people all the time. I got aggressive or semi-aggressive and peaceful community all in the same tank, getting along, no problem whatsoever. This is my um, ornate beecher right here, dragonfish, taking his time growing. A Siamese suckerfish, or a Chinese algae eater, a rhino pleco. This regular St. O'Donnell's catfish I adopted 10 years ago. That's my oldest adoption I have. 10 years ago, come next month. Not all the fish in here are adoptions. This dragon blood, which he runs the tank, the African peacock, African cichlid peacock. He was born here four years ago, come this August. And this little guy right here, that's a, um, it'll come to me, he's an African cichlid. He's taking his time growing, but I got him from my fish distributor. He's taking his time growing. Oh, I forgot the name right here. I got brain fart right now. That big clown loach right there came from Chesapeake City, Maryland. Three years ago, I got him. Three and a half years ago, I got him. What a tank that I got. I went early in the morning to go pick that fish up, the tank and all the fish that I got with him. There's a red tail shark in here as well. That came with that big clown loach. It's in here somewhere. That big fish back there is some type of African cichlid. I forgot the exact name of it. I adopted him last year, April. If anybody knows the name, holler, let me know. I know it's from the tilapia family, I remember that much. Dolphin head, a blue mori, African cichlid, OB peacock, he's in adoption. That geophagus back there is an adoption. They go my albino Sinodonis catfish. You can see his tail is black, turning black. I don't like it much. Uh, I guess I guess he got to grow on me. He got he got like a little black mustache, almost like Adolf Hitler mustache. See it right there. See his lips, a little black on his lips. I haven't seen that fish in months. It's always hiding inside of there. There's a striped Raphael catfish hiding inside there as well, as well as a Pictus catfish. I think it's, I think it's a four-line catfish. I like the spotted catfish better, the Pictus, but this one I believe is a four-line hiding inside there as well. They go to striped Raphael saying hello. He hardly comes out also. And there's a true upside-down catfish in here somewhere. He's usually hiding behind that decoration. It comes out every now and then. Unless that's him right there. It's like midnight black, pure black, true upside down catfish. Swims upside down all the time. I've had him for a while. Six years is past September now. These are my pets, not for sale. That big albino chromosepis, Malawi eye biter, I adopted him sometime last year as well. There's a few other smaller clown loaches. I got them from my fish distributor. I love clown loaches. 
unfortunately, it takes their time growing. I would, love, I, would love, I would love to have a nice 12 inch long clown loach. I've seen them before that long, that big. I would love to have one that big so people can see how big they can get. Thanks for watching the Fish Tank Guys store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you have any fish you can no longer keep, I can definitely adopt them and find them a forever new happy home. Or depending on what kind of fish they are, they might just become my pets and end up, in, end up inside this 120 gallon tank. The Fish Tank Guys store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You can also follow me on Facebook. I got a YouTube channel on Twitter, the Fish Tank Guys store. Thanks for watching.